All right, so this video is in response to a lot of people who said that they use their meter for discharging a capacitor instead of my crazy little capacitor discharger tool that I made. Um, so we're gonna see, I've charged this capacitor. This is a turbo mini, and I've, and I've charged the five microfarad portion of it and uh, charged it with 120 volts. And so we're gonna see how long it takes to discharge with a meter. Because the theory is, you know, the meter has a, a resistance through it, an impedance through the meter, and so the meter can act as a discharging uh, device. So let's see what we get here. So we're going to go. Actually, let's 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 keep our black on the common there. So we're going to go common, and then our five microfarad. All right. So 150 volts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven eight, nine, ten, you get the point. The problem with the meter isn't that it doesn't tell you whether or not it's charged or not. It just, it's not really effective at discharging it in a timely fashion. So, is, does the meter work? Yeah, the meter works because it's going to tell you if it's charged and they're usually not charged, so that method's totally fine. You got your meter on you, then you can use your meter to see if it's charged, and if it is charged, then you can use a capacitor discharger, like I've got here in order to discharge it. So let's do my test now and I'll show you. You get the five microfarad here. I know some of you are gonna be like, ah, you're gonna shock yourself, I'll be fine. I've shocked myself with worse than that, all right. So then we just take this and place it here and I'm just gonna do it for, we'll say two seconds. One, two. Okay, now we're gonna see if we still have any voltage applied. And I haven't tested this before, so <laughs> let's see if we do or not. Nope. No voltage, or almost, I mean, no, none to speak of. All right, so there we go. If you actually want to discharge a capacitor, then use a capacitor discharger. If you just want to test and see if you have voltage, then a meter works just fine. And if you want it to take forever to discharge, then you can just wait there for like half an hour until it finally, until it finally discharges through your meter. Hopefully that's helpful. We'll talk to you next time.